Good day, folks. It's DIY Guy123 here, bringing you another do it yourself video. Today, I'm going to be testing the King Bolin BM580 battery analyzer. I'll be talking to you all about the features of that, but basically, it's a six or a 12 volt system battery tester. It performs a test on the battery and will tell you the health of the battery. There are also some other tests that we can do with it, so I'll be showing you that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is hook up the positive and negative leads onto this battery tester. And uh, I think it's pretty dark. We're going to have to move inside. So here's the main menu. You hook up the battery terminals, and this is what you're presented with. You have a check option, waveform, playback, records, setup, multimeter. All right, so... I want to first do a check on this battery, check the voltage on it. So let's do a waveform check. And it's showing, it's going to graph that data. It's showing it's currently 13.48 volts on there. Let's see what my voltmeter says. Okay, so I've got a voltmeter from way back in my college days. So what does it say for voltage here? It's showing 13.45, okay? And this is currently showing 13.47. So I think that is incredible consistency between the two tools. Okay, so 13 and a half volts, this battery did come off of the charger 20 minutes ago or so. You wanna take it off the charger for a few minutes before you do this test, maybe 10 or 15, so that the, the voltage settles to where it would be a stable voltage. There are ways to record and review those recordings. Let's see if we can do that. Last record. Oh, there's the result. So it recorded the last result, nice. Okay, we'll back out of there. Let's do a playback and see if there's anything that we can play back. Waveform playback, let's do that. Waveform three, okay for replay. Oh, okay, and we're gonna go back into the battery check menu right there. And it's a 12 volt battery, and I wanna do an out of vehicle test. And let's call this a regular flooded battery. I think because it has these caps on the top that, that there's fluid in there. Yeah, you can hear it slosh around. So it's a flooded battery. And I know the cranking amps, every battery should say, says 675 cold cranking amps and 845 cranking amps at zero degrees. And uh, just to point out right now, it is about zero degrees right now. Uh, let's go with cranking amps. And the rating is 675. So I'll select that. And it's telling me the battery is 85% good. Well, this is a battery that's, uh, it's three years old, but it's never been in a vehicle or it's actually a boat battery, but it's never been used. So I'm not surprised that it's good. It shows 85% um, SOH, and I forget what that stands for, but I think it's health, like 85% health. Shows the resistance 4.14 milliohms, and it claims the cold cranking amps were measured at 620. I don't know how it does that because it certainly didn't draw 620 amps through this little wire. And the voltage is 13.44. Okay, so this one shows it as uh, good and we will back out of here. Okay, so here we are with the load tester and it's showing uh, almost 14 volts. I think it likes that. It's in the green zone. And the instructions are connected to the battery. Hold load on for 10, sec 10 seconds. Then with load on, read multimeter. So I'm going to hold the load on. And after 10 seconds, I'll read the reading. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, 10, and you can see the green, the arrow is still in the green, the line is still in the green. So at all times, the voltage was above 11 and a half volts, and this battery is healthy. Boy, you can see that thing smoking. 
So there's a heavy load that's been put on there. So this battery passed. Here we are with another battery. This one is an old battery. It is rated at 985 cranking amps. And we'll do a check and we'll do a 12 volt system and we'll do an out of vehicle test. And it's a regular flooded battery. And I know the cranking amps, so that's the rating that I'll put in there. And it's rated at 985 cranking amps. So we'll run that up. Okay, there's 985 cranking amps and we'll hit okay. And now it's running the test and it recommends replacement. It says this battery is only at 57% health. So we will take note of that. And our original load tester has been cooling off. Okay, so we're gonna do our load test again. I'm gonna put the load on, and after 10 seconds, we'll see where it re reads in here. And there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, weird. Oh, I'm supposed to keep it on while we're reading. The, uh, there was a little click. Well, this appears to have cooked itself because it no longer is putting a load on. I can tell when I put the load on, the needle doesn't drop. And I actually heard a little kind of like a click or like a snappy sound in here. So yeah, I think this is toast. I borrowed it to do this test. So it looks like I'm buying a new one. Okay, this battery is rated at 490 cold cranking amps. There's 490, hit our test. Boom, health of 41%. Not a healthy battery. We're gonna go at 490 and just see what happens. Fails right away, 50%. 50% health, 7.3 milliohms.
Good. Okay, here we are with my 2006 GMC Sierra. I have a battery that's only two years old and it has three year free replacement warranty. So it's still under warranty, which is great. And what happens is the trucks always work great, never a problem, except when it goes below, below minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is quite cold, uh, it will not start the next day. But if I boost it and run it for a few minutes and then if it, it'll start all that day, and then the next day it'll be fine as long as it doesn't go below minus 20. As soon as it goes below minus 20, it won't start. So what's the problem? Well, we're gonna do a couple tests here and you can see the battery voltage right now is 12 volts. So it's a little bit discharged, actually quite, you know, fairly discharged, but we're gonna just do a few checks anyway. And uh, so let's go into the check mode. I'll pick 12 volts. I'll pick um, quick test says, please confirm that the engine is off, otherwise the test will be affected, so it is off. Please enter the amp hour rating of the battery. Oh, right. I'm gonna edit this out because I don't know what the amp hour rating of this battery is. Okay, so we're gonna do an in-vehicle test, and we'll do a battery test, and can please confirm the engine is off, and it is. And it's telling, it's asking me for the type. It's a regular flooded battery. And if I look at the cold cranking amps of this one, it's shown as 800 right there. So we'll pick cold cranking amps and it's already set to 800 and it's running the test and it says it failed. It only measured 16% battery health. Now I will agree, here, let's get out of that. I will agree that running this on a discharge battery is not the best thing to do it to do. Um, but we're going to do a few other tests here and let's go into the startup test. This is pretty neat. So your battery should never really go below 10 volts under load. So I'll pick startup test. It says turn the engine off before entering the test. It is off. Now it says to start the engine. You're gonna watch there. And also if you can kind of get some of that in there too, that'd be good. So what it's gonna do as I start it is it's gonna measure the lowest voltage that it sees on the battery terminals and how long it takes to start. So it took two seconds to start and the voltage is considered low and the lowest voltage is 9.45 volts during the starting. So that is too low. Now, if it was minus 20 out, I guarantee that would be even lower. Okay, so let's see if we can do a charging test. And currently it's measuring the ripple. And it's got two readings, millivolt ripple, 910, 910 millivolts and then it has 1.43 volts. So I'll have to look up in the manual what they are. And now it's running a test and it tells me to run the engine from 2,500 to 3,500 RPMs and then press OK button. So what I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll do that. I'll set it at 25 and you, you press the OK. Okay. And then keep an eye on the screen and tell me, tell me what it says. I've never done this before. All right. Okay. What does it say? It said loaded at 4.3, 14.3, and unloaded at 14 and a half. Ripple is normal. Okay, so it says that the charging test is normal. The charging voltage at 14.7 is all right. We're gonna let that run for a bit to see if that climbs. Hard to see that screen. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Funny that if I pull this off too. It's because we got a really bright thing. Yeah. yeah. There. I don't normally do that. No. But this thing's cost like 19 bucks, so it's coming up. Great. If we could angle it up so you're the reflection, that would be good. Like. More like that. Okay. From my point of view, I think that helps. And the in vehicle test. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to do anyway. Okay. It seems high. It shouldn't be really more than 14.8, I wouldn't think. 
I wonder if I destroyed the battery by overcharging. It's, it's, it's two and a half. Okay, so I charged this battery up for quite a long time, got it fully charged, ran the test, and this battery test shows 43% health. So it's beeping at me saying the battery is no good. So I'm actually predicting it's bad because of an overcharging condition.